Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. We are going to do making your own DIY uh, jelly polishes, take two. Um, I went and picked up some of these bottles of the Miracle Nail from the Dollar Tree. This is just a clear polish. Um, you can use it as a base coat, a top coat, or to rehydrate some of those bottles that have started to dry up. But today, we're going to use them to make jelly polishes. Now I'm going to show you a couple of different ways you can do this. You can use like a little palette, like a paint palette, and if you're just doing your manicure right then and you don't want to make up a whole bottle, you can just put several drops, ooh I'm getting sloppy with it, um, of the clear down here. You're going to want to try to get it enough to do, you know, your manicure. You can go back and add to it. So there we go. We've got some drops put out there on the, what is that, a paint palette? Yes, a paint palette. I'm going to clean that drop up because I'm sure to put my hand in it if I don't. And I'm going to use this Nana Coco, and this one is called Love Black. And what you're going to do is just put one drop at a time in it until you like the shade that you've gotten, how you know, the opaqueness. And you just, you know, mix it up. And this is looking actually very dark. Um, so I might add some more clear to it. I'm just going to try to make sure I got all that clear mixed in with the black. Um, let me grab a swatch wheel and let's see. I'm just going to use part of it to, I don't know, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that. I thought it was going to be too dark, but it actually is working out really well. That's a good black jelly right there. So that is one way you could do it. And you, how, do, how would you apply this to your nail? Well, you just do it just like I did right here with this nail tip. You would just apply using your little brush. And just apply it like that. Now I would use this as like a you know a lead light, and this is to me not the ideal way of doing it. I do like making up bottles and having, but if you don't want to you know have a whole bottle of you know black jelly polish or whatever color you're making, you might want to you know do it like this. This is just an option. So there we go with that. I'm going to set that to the side. I'm going to get this out of the way. And we're going to get on into making some jellies. So, I used this bottle earlier to um, help thin down um, a polish that had gotten thick. And that's because I don't want to waste anything. Um, so, what I'm going to do is take the lid off of this one. And we're going to use this. Princessa Deluxe Nail Polish in yellow. I don't have a whole lot of yellow creams, but I'm going to add just maybe two or three drops to this. There we go. It was being quite slow. And then we're going to put the lid on this one, and I'm going to run it through my shaker, and we're going to see what we've got here. I'll be Okay, I've ran it through the shaker, and you can see it's very sheer. It's got a lot of bubbles in it because it's been shook up real well. You would want to roll it in your hands or let it just sit for a while before you actually, you know, um, try to use it because you don't want bubbles all in your nails, all in your manicures. But I think that's just a little bit too light. I, I don't think that's quite the color I want, so I'm going to add even more of this cream to it. And now that I know about how it's working, I might add a few more. Three, four, five. So I'm going to add five more drops and run it through the shaker again. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back, and this is getting much more um, the shade that I was hoping to get. So I'm going to take just a little bit, and I'm going to put it on this white to see kind of how it looks. And that is still feather, rather light, so I'm going to do a few more drops and shake it up again. And this is just the way that you do it. You don't want to put too much in at once because then you'll get it too opaque and you're not going to be happy with it. 
and it's just easier to add just a few drops of your color than it is to you know have to try to get more clear especially if your bottles kind of full so we're gonna add some more and keep on doing this until we're happy with it and this is how you would do any color it doesn't matter what color you're using you might you know use a red or a purple or whatever but you would go about it the same way and uh, not that I'm an expert or anything I'm just showing you how I do it and we're going to close that one up and run it through the shaker let's see what's okay I have added five more drops of the yellow and I'm going to just swatch it out here right beside this other one and you can see that is getting darker I do really like that I think I am going to go just a Oh, just a little bit more. Just a little bit. No. Okay, I'm going to leave that one alone. We're going to hop on into some other colors, and I'm going to speed through them and not chat, chat, chat. I might do a voiceover over them, but um, I just wanted to, you know, walk you, talk you through this. So we're going to get into some more jelly makeup. Alrighty, so we're going to speed this up. This next one is Poppy, and it's just kind of like an orangey red color. I'm going to do the same thing with it as I did with the yellow. I'm just going to add some drops. Count them. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And you can add more or less as you get to doing them. And just test them. You know, add some, shake them up. And, uh, you know, test them out either on white paper or, you know, like I'm doing like this one. I think that one's okay. So we're going to move on to Mount Royal. Just kind of a blurple color. It's more blue than blurple, but it does have some purple to it. So we're just going to rock on through these. We're going to do them all the same. You know, if I think they need more, I'll add more to them. And uh, that's just how you do these. You know, depending on how much clear polish you've got in the, in the bottle and how opaque the polishes are that you're using. So, but I really think this is a great way to do things. And that one's a little sheer. They're all a little sheer. So, you know, you might want to go back in later and adjust them a little bit. And this is Funky Fingers Limelight. Kind of a neon green. Figured, you know, let's just do like the rainbow today. So. And I do have a shaker. Um, mine is the Eisen Pro Shaker. Um... I just, I love that thing. My son's got it for me for Christmas many, many years ago, and it gets quite the workout, and it does really good for this. But if you don't have one, you can always handshake them. And that one's very sheer. We're going to have to add some more to that one. Definitely got to add some more to that one. But like I was saying, if you don't, and the Eisen Pro Shaker, I think they run about $100, and that is that is a lot of cash to drop for something like this, but I really love mine, so, you know, um, I think it's worth every penny, but if you don't have that kind of money, you can also get, oh, we're going to use Black Onyx for the black jelly, yes, and that's from OPI, but they do sell um, tattoo ink mixers, um, I've gotten one off of eBay before, I've got a video somewhere in my YouTube land <laughs> where I uh, demonstrated how to use it and it's a lot cheaper I think I got mine for like maybe 10 or 12 bucks and it works really well too so you know you might want to consider those options if you don't want to hand shake them and that was pretty sheer but I kind of like it we are gonna add some more to it though and you know like I said on the earlier if you if you want them darker you can add more of the polish to it but if you if you find you've gotten it too dark you can add a little bit more clear and that seems to help too so there we go I'm liking that that looks much better look at the difference then we're gonna use this red and this is downtown LA and we're just gonna keep on popping through these I did try to look for polishes that were pretty opaque in my collection um, I also pulled out some that have not had any love or not been seen before, you know, um, on my channel because you know, I've got a lot of polish, so it's hard to get through them all, but just use what you have. 
That's my suggestion. I wouldn't go out and buy anything special for this. You know. Ooh, that one's real pretty. I like that cherry red color. And then I'm going to use this Princessa. And this is um, Mega Purple. Because I wanted a purple jelly. So we're just going to do it just like the other ones. <laughs> that sounded like a broken record. But um, I wanted to show y'all, you know, using different brands, different colors. Uh, really am excited about doing these and, you know, being able to share how I did them. And I didn't invent this. You guys know I didn't invent this. It's just, uh, I just wanted to share and show what I was doing. So we're going to add a little bit more to that purple. And we're going to shake them all up. But hopefully you all got something out of this and enjoyed this video. Um, you know, it's it's a neat thing to be able to do. So I hope you enjoyed it. Alrighty, so that is how I did my DIY jelly polishes. I hope this was helpful to someone and that, you know, m maybe you could, you know, create a set of jelly polishes for your own use. And you know because jelly polishes are one of those things that you know the fad comes and it goes and you know you can sometimes find them in the stores and sometimes you can't or maybe a brand comes out with just one jelly polish and a whole collection and you want a multitude of colors so you know knowing how to do this really makes it nice because you can tweak it you can make them darker you can make them lighter you can even add colors I'm kinda of thinking about adding a little bit of yellow to this one to maybe make it look more orange I don't know we'll see but anywho I hope you enjoyed this one and like I said you know let me know down below what you think about these and if you make jelly polishes I know I've talked to some of my friends already and they say they do this this is how they create their jelly polishes and um, that is it for today. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.